What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Tika Deshaun of All Things Ruthless, home of the Ruthless Addicts. Let's just dive into episode 17 from season two of Satima, entitled Energy Shift. And the episode description reads as follows. Zach and Jeremiah come to blows after getting devastating news about their mom. Fatima considers getting back together with Zach. And Belinda confronts Nathan about being too honest all right you guys so when we last left off on Zatima we saw that Zach met up with Connie Connie or in actuality Connie came to Zach's house to get him to take him to where his mother was because there was some things going on with his mom Gladys so then you guys we see Fatima and she just can't sleep she's a little bit restless so who does she get on the telephone and call of course, she calls Paul. All right. Now, a lot of people are just saying how Paul is in the wrong for this whole situation. But Fatima, again, y'all, y'all can hate me. Y'all can love me. But I'm just saying Fatima's doing too much. She's the one that continues to call Paul. So then, you guys, we see that the bestie Angie walks into the bedroom, also known as Angela, walks into the bedroom where Fatima is and lets her know, girl, listen, it's about to go down. I got a man coming over and I'm just saying it's going to get a little noisy. Um, but Fatima tells her, well, I'm going to go for a run. So y'all do what y'all do. And I guess I'll just be back later. Um, now, again, Angela, I, I ain't mad at Angela. Like she has on her little outfit and she's trying to uh, get Fatima's advice. Like, is this cute? Is this sexy? Is this he will jump on me type sexy? And Fatima lets her know, yeah, girl, that's cute. She was like, well, no, nah, I need to go and change. And so she does just that. She changes into this little two-piece number. And, of course, she gets a knock at the door. Fatima is sitting downstairs. It's in the process of getting herself together to, you know, go out on this run. But Fatima... Like I told y'all in the beginning, Fatima calls Paul. Now, Paul says, I don't run, but I will ride my bike. So, Fatima, and he's like, I can ride alongside of you. So, you know, that's what they agree to. So, again, Angela gets to knock at the door, and it's the one and only Sam, Sam y'all. His name is Sam. Now, I call him the Romeo Miller lookalike, um, but he is Sam, and they, you know, they're, they're kind of talking that little talk in front of Fatima, um, you know, and he, she's like, he's like, oh, do you have something to drink? And of course, he's like, yeah, I got some drink, and I also got some, some, some weed, you know. And but it's upstairs, and he's like, oh, so straight to the point, huh? So anyway, you guys, so Tim was just like, Lord, girl, just do your thing. I'm out. I'm gonna go for my run, and she does just that. So then we see, y'all, this moment right here, we see Zach at the hospital. And he and his brother, as well as Connie, are there. Now, Z Jeremiah is so high right now that he really feels like he is like, why is the doctor taking so long? Why is the doctor taking so long? Uh, we know why the, well, you know, when people go into the hospital, the doctors will take longer than what we feel um, should be done. So anyway, the doctor does walk up. And she tells, you know, Zach, she's like, look, um, your mom did overdose. She did overdose on fentanyl, um, but you can't see her right at the moment. We're still working on her and you really don't want to see that. So right now, Miss Gladys is in a bad way. Um, we don't know if she's going to recover. It's just a matter of the doctors doing what they need to do. But in the midst of all of this, Zach, again, is blamed by Jeremiah for giving him and their mom five hundred dollars um for that whole counseling session now zach is like look bro i'm tired of you blaming me for y'all lifestyle for y'all choices like you're just doing too much and it once he once jeremiah starts saying negative things he's like you only care you don't care about nothing but that that b talking about fatima and this is when zach goes in and finally gives jeremiah the butt whipping that that older brother actually deserves like he's been going in and just been mad disrespectful to zach zach has done nothing but try to help jeremiah and his mom 
And at this point, it was like Jack, Zach just could not take it anymore. So they literally go in and have a physical, physical altercation. It was more like a stomp and a beating because Zach literally was doing what he had to do towards his brother. But then he screams out and he yells, it's like, I hate you. I hate you. Um, this part, y'all, it made me cry because the tears that came and the words that came out of Zach's mouth were super, super emotional like i felt the pain that zach was feeling um and connie poor connie she was just like in the midst of all of this trying to break the two of them up trying to calm zach down trying to get jeremiah out of the way she's literally but she was there she was holding it down she was right there with zach holding it down so then we see fatima and paul and they're at the park and you know zach Paul basically let Fatima know, yeah, I saw Zach earlier. And she was like, oh, really? How did that go? And he says, you know, we're men. We're going to do what we do. And so, you know, Fatima's there. Like, she's there. And she's using um, Paul as a sounding board. Now, I'm not mad at the fact that she's using him as a sounding board. But she also has to remember that this dude actually likes her. And he's telling her right now. Uh, that I wish that we could, you know, basically get it on because he he desires her. She's a sexy woman, um, a beautiful woman, an intelligent woman, and he really wants to be with her. Um, he says that he even attempted to go and date someone else, but it didn't work because he was feeling Fatima. Now, I feel like Fatima should allow Paul at this moment now that he has given her this true confession and that's not what she wants from him. She needs to let him know and not just let him know, but walk away, like leave Paul out of you and Zach's mess. Because at this point, you're, you know, you, we know that you don't want Paul and Paul has to be able to accept the fact that you are not wanted in that way, Paul. So then we see at Belinda's apartment, uh, Messy Belinda, the friend that tried to put her own friend Fatima on a dating app, caused problems, contribute to the problems that were going on in the relationship with Zach and Fatima. Um, we see her and Nate and Nate is back at the apartment. Of course, he's there to, you know, to talk to her or basically he was there. Nate was there to have sex. That's all it was. But she was there like, why, why, um, just so negative towards Zach. So in actuality, y'all, I feel like Belinda is still feeling Zach, but she's willing to try to get with the friend to get with, to get to Zach. Um, to be in Zach's life, to see what's going on in Zach's life. Um, but then she says, you know, to Nate, like, well, who were you with? Were you with some other woman, some other B? You know, so Belinda got some problems. She she got relationship issues. She got she just got all kind of problems. And Nate needs to run far, far, far away from her. She really she's just got issues. So then we see Fatima. She's back at the apartment or back at the house. And she can't get any sleep. It's just so noisy. She's like, what the heck is that? Is that a horse? So <laughs> Angela is in there riding that pony, y'all. That's all I can say, genuine style. Fatima tries to put on headphones. The headphones don't work. So then she discovers or realizes she needs to get up and go, you know, go out the house just a little bit longer because the whole headphone situation was not working for her. So then we'll see back at the hospital, um, we see that she's kind of still there with Zach and she's again she's trying to talk him you know keep him calm help him through this whole situation um it's not it's not looking really good the doctor does come out and um let Zach know that you know hey your your mom is again we said this she's not at the best light um but we're still definitely, we're still working on her and trying to, you know, help her through this whole situation. Um, it's crazy. Like this episode was entirely crazy. Um, but then, but then, um, again, we see that Fatima makes her way down the stairs and oh my God, looky, looky, looky. Sam literally like, bro, where's your towel? Like, you know, this girl has a roommate right now. Where is your towel? So you just go walk straight through the house, 
fucking naked and down to the kitchen. And Tima, you know, she was like, oh, I see why she was in there then like a like another horse or whatever the case may be. But anyway, um, Fatima tells Belinda or she tells Angela, look, I'm about to, you know, go go out a little bit longer. She's like, why you can't sleep? No, nah, girl, because y'all in there making all kind of noise. No, she can't sleep. So anyway, she's like, well, I'm going to go see Zach now. Then at the hospital, we see that Connie is calling Zach's friends. He's, she's calling Nate. She's calling Tony. Well, actually, she called Tony and Tony called Nate. Um, but Tony was, Nate was in the midst of Belinda's pee. And <laughs> uh, yeah, he still answered the phone. And so this is when Belinda decides that she is going to actually go to the hospital with Nate. Now, why she's following Nate like this? Again, y'all, I already told y'all it's to get under the skin of, it's to get under the skin of Zach. Zach does not want her, but she can't seem to understand that. So then, then we get to a moment where we're at Fatima's or at Zach's house. Um, but before we, we do that, um, kind of lets Zach know, look, I got my kids. I got to go take care of my kids, but I'll be back in the morning. And he was like, here go my kids. Um, can you, you can take my car to go home. And then I want you to make sure you just stop by my house for me. Make sure it's locked up. Cause I left the door open, but make sure it's locked up. And, um, and you know, turn my alarm on, you know, so kind of like, okay, I got you. I got you. So then outside of Zach and Fatima's home, cause it's still Fatima's home. Uh, we see your girl. <laughs> we see Deja, y'all. We haven't seen Deja all this episode. And then she appears. Nothing wrong with her neck. No neck, neck brace on. And Fatima catches her. She's like, all right, B, now I got you. I got you. Um, and, of course, there's a man walking into her into her side of the house. Uh, uh, Deja's the side of the house. But she was like, I got you, I got you. So Fatima's like, girl, you better drop that lawsuit and I'm calling my cousin. My cousin is coming over here to deal with you. She's like, you ain't got to call madam. You ain't got to call madam. But she's like, nah, 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 because you, you know, you need to be, but Deja's like, you need to be worrying about your man. He was here with this chick. She had on this green shirt, like just telling all the business. And I got the pictures. So she scrolls through her phone. She shows Fatima his pictures. And next thing you know, out of the door walks Cunny. Now that was the end of episode seven. I'm going to give you guys episode 17. I'm going to come back and give you guys episode 18. But what are your thoughts so far on episode 17? Um, is it okay for Fatima to continue to reach out to Paul the way that she's doing? Um, will Fatima finally get, will they make it to court? Deja versus Fatima. What the heck is Katie doing walking out of Fatima's, Fatima and Zach's house? Will they get into a physical altercation? All right, you guys, that's about it. Thank you all so much for tapping in and tuning in. New to my channel, find me for the first time. Please hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you can receive reminders of new ruthless content. Okay, and I will be back with episode 18. Okay, all right, you guys, stay ruthless.